I'm Jimmy Collins. I'm Kim Collins' husband. Believe me, you don't want to get her started. <laughs> we moved up from Florida. We have some land up on 79. Uh, we just drilled a well. It is good. Uh, we're thinking about building. We kind of got our life on hold because we don't know where this is going. Because we saw it in Florida. We have a house down there. We paid $150,000 for. And some things happen similar to this. It's now worth $28,000. And we do not want that to happen here, and the board really needs to consider it because if we build a house, say $200,000, the well goes out, it's worthless. You live in a $1,000 house or a million dollar house, don't matter if your water is worthless, your house is worthless, then the people will move. Yes, it can be done safely. They've been spending millions of dollars on TV right now advertising that they're going to do it safely. <laughs> it's true, you know, they're going to frack a mile down. How far was the well in the Gulf? It was over a mile. It still causes damage. Are they going to do it? Can they do it? They can, but will they? No, it's going to cost too much. They've already spent too much money to pass the laws. George Bush signed it. I saw it. They do not have to answer to nobody. So if you want to buy the hype and say, oh yeah, they can do it right. They can't do it right, but will they? No. Once they get the go ahead and the green light, sit back and watch what happens. Your values are going to go down. We've had it happen before. Will it create jobs? Yes. Last week I saw on the TV two girls from Rochester, one from Horseheads, got arrested for prostituting, servicing the out of town workers. 90% of the jobs are out of town are not here unless you want to drive a truck. But that's what it is. But yes, we're, our life is on hold. But we, you know, we want to build, but we want to feel sure that we don't build and our house just goes to nothing.